YouTube, what is good? Welcome back to another video. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Jason. I go by J Swipe. I'm a 22 year old owner operator slash fleet owner in the New York, New Jersey area. And I document my life in hopes that the information that I give and the value helps you guys in some type of way, shape or form. So let me show you guys what we're gonna do today. Now, if you're somebody that's been wanting to start a trucking business, but you don't know exactly how or you feel like you're missing a couple steps, well, I've been able to create a trucking guide bundle pack where I put together four in-depth trucking guides to teach you exactly how to get up and running from the beginner level all the way up to the expert level. The link to the trucking guide bundle pack is gonna be in the description below, and it's also gonna be in my Instagram bio as well. So make sure you check that out before this video ends, and let's get back to the video. So we are at the yard today, and we have a couple of local deliveries we're picking up a load from home depot slash ge and i'm going to show you guys what a contract with home depot looks like all right y'all so it is time to go into the warehouse we have multiple stops going throughout yonkers new york today in total, we have 118 loaded miles. So I went ahead and strapped the GoPro on. This is what our route is looking like. We have total, I believe it's 16 pieces total, 20 pieces total. These are all appliances. These are all fridges that are going to new constructions, builder homes, 16 fridges in total going to one stop. I got my helper in here already loading up. Yo, el dile que lo que a la gente de YouTube. La gente de YouTube activo. So we're almost done loading up. The truck is gonna be full. But the good thing about this route is that most of the stuff that we have is going to one stop. So. Wow. No van a caber toda la nevera. No, 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 so we ended up talking to the warehouse guy and we're gonna take out a couple of these stops that are going to different customers. And we're just gonna take the one big order of the 16 fridges. Just like that, we are loaded up. Like I said, we spoke to the warehouse guy and we're only taking this big order of 16 fridges going to the Bronx. Right, y'all, so we about to go get some breakfast real quick. I'll get back to y'all when we at the breakfast spot. Primo, dígame que hay mangu. Deme mangu. Salami frito. Queso frito. Huevo frito. So while I'm waiting for my food, uh, I might as well go ahead and break down 
this load so this load is a home depot contract that we have with a warehouse out here in new jersey it is a total of 117 miles but remember i told you guys that we got a lot of the pieces taken off we only have one real stop which is 15 fridges going to a new construction building so that's going to be super easy all we had to do is load up all we got to do over there is unload if they want us to cut the boxes open and take the boxes out then you know we'll do it that's not a problem and we're going to the bronx new york y'all you know anything about the bronx new york you know people truck drivers are really scared to drive out there people are really scared to drive in new york city period you know the drivers are so crazy the streets are so tight the turns are so tight but you know that's more money for us we're not scared to come to the city and make that bag you know what i'm saying One thing about New Jersey is the cops out here do not play. stopping at a service area because I don't know if you guys can see but my truck is asking to do DF service so I gotta park up push this little button I don't know if you can see it says DPR regenerate system in process park up here for like 10 minutes wait for my truck to do his DF service and now we can cross the George Washington Bridge finishes DF service uh, we are at a truck stop well we were parked up at a truck stop now we are about to head back on to I-95 get back on the turnpike I told y'all New Jersey DOT does not play at all all right y'all we are coming up on the George Washington Bridge it's only like 11 in the morning so there's really not that much traffic. This is usually all packed out, like bumper to bumper type traffic. But since it's only like 11 a.m., we're good. Get through here. These roads are horrible on this bridge. But like I said, this is usually always backed up, but since it's kind of early, we're good. But now we're gonna stay straight on the George Washington Bridge and we're gonna get on 87, the Major Deegan, and head towards the Bronx. I see the city's down that way. My helper is sleeping. My helper is sleeping because it was like an hour drive, hour, 20 minute drive. I know a lot of you guys have asked this question do you need a CDL to drive these box trucks and the answer is no if you drive a truck that's under 26,000 pounds you don't need any type of CDL but one thing I will tell you guys is you guys should definitely go ahead and get your CDL because this box truck game it's amazing as a starter 
for you to get all the experience you need to then move up to the semi truck game. Damn, that shit is stupid. Wait, I got that because I thought that though. Give you guys a little POV of what it's like driving through the narrowest part of the George Washington. Over there, it's a little bit more packed, as you guys can see. About to get on the Cross Bronx Expressway. Any and all trucks can drive through here. Usually, the clearance is like 13.6. truck GPS on me so my phone keeps trying to throw me on the cross county expressway or parkway so what I'm trying to figure out is how I can take this local probably have to go that way all right we're gonna figure this out right now Get through. 
without having to go through a parkway. Time to get off on exit 6, Tucker Hole Road. And it's going to pretty much get us on the other side where we need to be to get to our destination. get back to you guys as soon as we get to our first drop no trucks except local deliveries we are a local delivery so we're still about eight minutes away but i just wanted you guys to see this steep ass hill that we're about to go up i really don't like going up hills like this but you know it's kind of mandatory at the moment he no trucks man they get up there they get up there like we about to take a flight and we up we up we up the hill we up the hill so the apartment complex that we're going to is right on the hudson river so it should have some pretty nice views another hill let's get it let's get it let's get it let's get it bajando esta vaina con, con nieve y hielo y de todo oh, en el invierno oh, no, y subí como subimos y ahí subí también. this really you want to take a low gear so that you don't waste your brakes take a low gear down this hill hear the engine brake kick in you barely even have to press your brakes until you get to the stop sign it's so good it's We can't do that, we can't do that, we can't do that. That's how we think that was a good one. El de la, ajá, el grande de allá. Ya, pero por el otro, esta vaina le gata los frenos a un camión de uno. So, ese building ahí arriba tiene que tener un... Un view que ya tú sabes. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Ah, está bien, yo me meto entonces. ¿Qué es lo que tú quieres hacer? Alright y'all, we have arrived at the apartment that we are going to be delivering this at. Now we just got to figure out where the front door or front office is so that we can drop this off. I know, but I think it's necessary. Say it again. That order was canceled. 
So the 15 refrigerators that you guys had, that was canceled. you guys canceled The last time it? you went to bring the, um, the microwaves and that, we spoke directly with the company, we canceled them. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Let me give my company a call and, and you figure out on your end and I'll give you a call right back. Okay. Hey, Victor, I'm at um the 15 refrigerator stop and they said that they canceled this order a while ago. If you want to give them a call, the, the 914 number were picked up. All right, man, they told you it's canceled. Fuck, it's canceled. All right, now we're going to go to the No, 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 <laughs> YouTube, so as you just heard in the last clip, the customer ended up canceling this order of 15 refrigerators. Um, it was actually going to this big apartment complex right here. I already called the people that we have a contract with and let them know about the situation. Now, this has nothing to do with us. We made our attempt to drop this load off, so we are still technically getting paid for this load because we came and attempted to do the load so really it's just time to head back to new jersey park the truck up and go home um it's only about noon so you know what a day but the company that we have a contract with actually pays for tolls gas coming from new jersey to new york we really don't spend a lot so in total it was 50 miles coming from new jersey to where we're at in the bronx right now and it's going to be 50 miles going back to the yard to park the truck up so really 100 miles barely any diesel spent and the route paid you know i'm fine with that
are back at the yard. I just parked the truck. So let me tell you guys what ended up happening with that load. We had a load going from New Jersey to the Bronx, New York. It was an apartment complex and we were dropping off about 15 to 16 refrigerators. I called the client once we were at the corner of the apartment complex to let them know we were gonna start unloading and they let us know that they had canceled the order. So, uh, but like I told you guys, that had nothing to do with us. That mistake was not on our part. That mistake was on, you know, I don't know, whoever set up that load, that delivery, that was on their part, you know. We picked up the load, went to go drop off the load. It was their mistake, we're still getting paid. So this is gonna be the end of the video. Let me know if you guys want a breakdown of this Home Depot contract. Let me know if you guys want a breakdown of how much they're paying me, what they pay for, tools, gas, you know, all that. Let me know if you guys wanna know how much I pay my helper. You know, I was the driver, so, you know what I'm saying? Pretty much keep everything. <laughs> but no, for real, let me know what you guys want me to break down. Let me know what you guys want me to screen share, what low boards, what insurance you guys want me to go over. I'm writing down a list of every single video that I have to make for you guys, and I want to keep adding them to the list so that I can keep on giving you guys as much value as I can so that you guys can grow just as much as I'm growing. That being said, YouTube, until the next one, let's get it.